God, you brought us through another week. Yes. Another week. My God, what a week it's been. Yes, yes. While some were celebrating on one side of town, yes, yes. others were mourning on the other side. Some had reasons to rejoice, and others were met with news of despair. But you're the God of us all. Yes, yes. And we all shall find reason to rejoice because you are our Savior. Yes, yes. We need you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. We need you. Can't make you without you. Yes, we make you without you, Father. Send your word, Jesus. Yes, send your word, Lord. Somebody needs you. Yes, Lord, I need you. Oh, send your word, Master. I need your word. Yes, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. We're listening. We're listening. In the precious name of Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Let the church say, Amen. 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 <coughs> In the Old Testament lesson read from Reverend Geddes. Yes. The gospel we heard from Reverend Rosa. Yes. There is an epistle lesson that comes in between from Timothy. And I just want to say what the Lord has given me to say Amen. about these three passages yes. in very brief order. Yes. I start with the gospel lesson. Yes. And then we find in the fifth verse. Just one line that I want to use as the text. Verse 5 of chapter 17 of Luke's Gospel, Luke 17, 5. I read from the New International Translation. Here's what it says. The apostles <coughs> said to the Lord, Increase our faith. That's the line. Your Bible might say the disciples said to Jesus, Increase our faith. I want to use this morning as a title, a title of a song that I've heard growing up as a boy. I'm still here this day. All my help. Yeah. Comes from the Lord. Don't have anything fancy for you today. Just a straight line of truth. All of my help comes from the Lord. All my help comes from the Lord. We find. <coughs> In the book of Lamentation, mm -hmm. yeah. where Elder well, Gad is read from the assigned passage, that 
Israel was in the clutches of her enemies. The prophet Jeremiah was instructed to pray. Because the Lord was about to do a destructive thing in Judah. It was in 597 BC that Judah was first invaded by the Babylonians. Took away King of Shia, Prophet Hezekiah, And other inhabitants of the land were taken into captivity. But it was not until 10 years later in 587 BC that again the Babylonians invaded Judah. And this time it was utter destruction. Even the temple where they worship Almighty God was destroyed. Yes. And utensils dedicated, sanctified, consecrated to the glory of Almighty God. Yes was taken by the invading Babylonian troops and they desecrated the house of Almighty God. Somebody had to be crying out. Where is God? when his house is being destroyed. Somebody must have wondered, are these not the chosen people with whom God has entered into covenant? Yes. Why then are they suffering wow. in the fashion that they are suffering? But I admonish you, to read the whole story. You see, Judah, the children of Israel, were now suffering the consequences of their sin. Plain and simple. They were being punished by the hand of God because he had sent prophet after prophet to warn them about their evil ways. But you know, Isaiah said a word about the same thing. Isaiah said the day would come when everything good seemed bad. And everything bad seemed good. People will call the light dark and the darkness light. But I come to give witness this morning that God is not to be pleased with. I 
I've come to announce this morning to you and myself alike that the wages of sin is still death. Yes, it is. And the gift of God is still eternal life. That's right. Israel had plenty of time to clean up her eyes. Our God. But she refused to obey God. And not only that, she started running after other gods. Amen. <sighs> they began to trust in their own mind. And began to decide for themselves what was best for them. Sound like children, don't you? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. You remember when your mama told you? Mm -hmm. You think you know more than I do. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Did right. daddy ever say? Mm -hmm. You better get out of the face yeah. because you think you're wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Anytime Regardless of his or her age, right. yeah. think that they know more than God, yeah. you better get away from that person. Yeah. And if you find yourself believing that you can handle things better than God, then you better go out on your knees and ask God to have mercy on you because all power is in God's hand. Yeah. That's not that stuff. That's Lest I take too long. In the lectionary, reading for Timothy, mm -hmm. he was being counseled, if you will, to follow in Paul's footsteps. Yes. Right Reason be that Timothy had run into some difficulties. Mm -hmm. And his faith was shaken. His faith was rattled. He was losing his faith. Yes. <laughs> I want to tell you, everybody, amen, amen. get weak on the journey sometimes. Yes. So 
Lord! 